Today's how to build is on this Lego graveyard. Spooky. So the most basic thing you need for a graveyard are some tombstones. Um, this is a basic design here that uses pretty common parts. It's three one by four bricks, one, two, three, and then two one by two downward slopes on top. Um, depending on how big you think your gravestone should be, you could also do just two one by four bricks with maybe some one by four plates um, for different sizes. Um, however, if you want sort of a more curvy top, Another way to do it is, so this is again three bricks, three one by four bricks, then this is a one by two plate with a one by two tile, and two <clears throat> little cheese slopes on the top. Um, if you're not having cheese slopes, this one I just use some regular one by one tiles there for a different sort of look. Um, if you've got them, these uh, arch pieces are going to be one of the best ways to have like a curved, <clears throat> excuse me, got a little frog in my throat today, um, and not a Lego frog. Uh, these curved arches are going to be one of the best ways to have a nice curved gravestone. Um, this is two one by two plates on top of one another, two of those, and then <clears throat> you can either have a, a one by two tile across the top to make it smooth. Or here I'm using a jumper plate and then I'm going to add this little cross on top. This cross is just um, a bunch of one by one round plates. This is five of them. Uh, in a Technic half beam, it's got the hole in the center. So you can put stuff in. So there's two studs that way, five studs that way. A little cross goes on top of the gravestone, like so. Um, you know, some gravestones are different shapes. This one is uh, two of these, which are one by two by three tall slopes uh, on a one by four plate, and then just some cheese slopes on top to round it off. Though you could use a variety of things to top it off. Uh, this one's in dark gray. Obviously, you could do your gravestones whatever color is appropriate. Light gray is very common, but you know, some graveyards have white tombstones, black could even work for some things, dark gray. Um, so this is using some curvy slopes. I don't know if these have a better name. I just think of them as the basic curvy slope. Uh, and these are on two one by six bricks with a one by two plate in the middle. Um, so those are some basic tombstone designs. Um, another type of uh, grave marker is just a simple cross. So this is a uh, one by three plate at the center here. And then I've got two one by one bricks below and um, two one by two, pl sorry, two one by one plates topped off with a one by one tile and putting a tile here so we don't have any of those pesky studs showing just didn't seem appropriate for the graveyard to have the studs on the crosses, but it's up to you um, how to do that. So there's a little cross. Um, some bigger type, uh, more like um, grave markers. I'm not sure if plinth might be the appropriate name for this. So this uses uh, these corner bricks, four of those like so, and then uh, one by two downward slopes in a spiral pattern, or basically they all go like this, and then they go together. Um, and then to round out the corner, this is a uh, cheese slope with a one by one plate, uh, it's not a perfect match for that slope, but it does okay. So then we're just going to fit them together. Like so. And then uh, here I've got this uh, octagonal brick from some old castle set, I think. But you could also just use round bricks, whatever. Um, you know, make your 
graveyard and gravestones and uh, monoliths to your liking. Um, and then this is just one of those roof topper bricks. And I thought that looked like a pretty good gravestone. Uh, this one, which is more like a uh, thing. What do you call these things? I'm obviously not up on my graveyard terminology, but um, more of a big memorial thing. Let me show you how I did this one. So down here we've got a 1x6 plate and a 2x6 plate. Two 2x3 two bricks there. Uh, two by two downward slopes for the bottom. Then building up, uh, all these columns are three cylinder bricks tall. So we've got one there and there. Uh, <clears throat> then in the center, there's a little mini tombstone. So two one by two bricks. Uh, with a jumper plate on top and then a one by one plate and a one by one round plate make a tiny little memorial tablet there uh, then some one by four arches so yeah I was I just googled graveyards online and was looking at different types of headstones uh, sorry, this is a one by two slope. One there, one there, and then across the top. That's a two by two and a one by two. If you have two by threes, you could use that as well. Uh -huh. And then uh, two by two and one by two tile to top it off. There you get your gravestone. So now that you've built all your tombstones, you need to put them together into a graveyard. So this is just a 32 by 32 green base plate. I'm just going to start plopping down my uh, different gravestones I made, spacing them like two apart. Uh, alternate the rows a little bit so that they uh, don't all line up perfectly. Put the big one there little cross over here and then this is of course just however you want to arrange your graveyard and however many however big it needs to be for what you're doing um, I think that does a pretty good job and then you know graveyards cemeteries usually have fence around them um, there's a lot of different types of fence pieces um, this is the classic sort of fence piece. Um, there's these other type of barriers that came from town sets. Um, this I think came from Star Wars. Um, this is sort of the new type of fence that is in a lot of sets. Um, I've got a whole bunch of it in black. I think mostly from Arkham Asylum, uh, the old set. but. Uh, that's an option. Uh, another thing you can do is if you've got uh, ladder pieces, uh, you could do them in brown. I ha happen to have a few in black. Connect those to a post like that, and then you've got a sort of fence like that. Um, if you watched my video, How to Build Some Prisons, link to that video, um, this gate is uh, in front of one of the prisons. And uh, I'm just reusing it here because it also looks like the good entrance to a graveyard. Um, again, a lot of these uh, pieces are from Arkham Asylum, the gates, all this fencing. Um, just put some pokey spears and stuff on top to make it a little more intimidating because you want your fence to be scary to keep bad things in the graveyard if it's a spooky graveyard or just because that's what we do with graveyards. Um, so yeah, uh, putting that on there and then just going around the side with whatever random fencing you've got to, uh, you know, go around your graveyard. And, uh, you know, you can throw a tree in your graveyard. 
Uh, what other things are in graveyards? Help me out here. Uh, obviously, if yours is like a spooky one for a monster movie, then you're going to want to put zombies, perhaps from the new Monster Fighter sets. Or, uh, what else? What else goes in graveyards? Oh, if it's like the graveyard book, you'll need ghouls and ghasts and whatnot. So there you go. Um, obviously, you'd probably want to try to have the same type of fence all the way around, but this is a little hodgepodge graveyard. So it's got hodgepodge fencing. Uh, so yeah, hope you enjoyed this how to build, and uh, as always, uh, let me know what you'd like to see in future episodes in the comments, and if you build something cool uh, based on one of my videos, leave a video response so that we can all check it out. Alright, there you go. Spooky Graveyard, Ooh.